I hope you guys really enjoyed yesterday's video. I had so much fun making it and I really wish we could get the word out there to where we get a new rifle to hunt coyotes because I feel like it's definitely due whether, like I said before, it's a different version of a 243, say like an AR-243, or if we can get a 22250 that we can just absolutely snipe coyotes with. Anyways, with that being said, today's gonna be a little bit different. We're only gonna be hunting with the bow and arrow. Now I have the recurve bow and I have the hawk edge bow. So if something comes within 40 yards, we'll use the recurve. If it's a little bit further out, we'll definitely be using the hawk edge bow. Before we go, I definitely wanna try a couple of shots here just to see if we're still on. All right, it looks pretty good to me. There it is. All right, so now that we have the recurve bow, I think we're gonna head out here on Parque Fernando and try and get some giant water buffalo and then eventually head over to probably Africa and see if we can't get some Cape Buffalo. Holy mother of buffalo. I just found about 25 water buffalo here they are oh that's a max weight one right there actually um i don't have a clue what they're doing down here on the bottom oh my god that was not good but uh i think we're about to get either stampeded or we're gonna try and sneak up on them i don't know which one's gonna happen but hopefully the second one <laughs> oh man now i don't even know if this same herd is gonna go down to lago bb or not because it seems like this is a totally different holy 19 water buffalo in here are you absolutely kidding me right now <gasps> oh that was not good oh it's not a bad looking buck right there actually really not a bad looking muley all right check this out this buck's out here at about 120. now if we can get to 80 yards we are definitely gonna let one fly all right, guys, so we're just approaching the 100 yard mark here, and I honestly think we might go for about like a 95 yard shot. I feel pretty comfortable. We're definitely not going to be using that, but I feel pretty comfortable to take this shot. That is until he turned right towards us. Got him. So we actually got some pretty decent blood here. It's not amazing, but it's decent. We ended up getting a non-vital hit and at 95 yards out, I'm actually pretty okay with that. I don't think he was too big anyways, but I definitely saw him run over here. So I'm really curious where we did hit. It was a super, super bad angle and we probably shouldn't have taken that shot, but honestly, I think we did pretty good. And let's find out how we did. Oh, come on. We kind of got robbed on that shot. I'm not going to lie. It was a super, super tough angle. And honestly, we made a pretty good shot. Because if you think about it, the angle that he was at, we hit right behind that front shoulder there. And it barely, barely missed the lung. But you know what? I'm okay with that because he wasn't going to be a gold anyways. Obviously, if that was a broadside shot, we would have hit him right there and it would have been a perfect lung shot. But not bad though for 97 yards out and our first animal down. So because this black buck is so big and he's definitely time potential, I do not want to mess this up. We're going to try and get as close as we possibly can, or at least within 40 yards. All right, guys, jackpot. There he is right there, 40 yards out, pretty broadside. Look at the size of that black buck. All right, so we're going to draw back and we're going to hold for 40. We're zeroed in for 60. So it goes like this. It goes 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So we'll use the second pin. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that thing got so smoked that he fell over before the shot even took place. <laughs> wow. We held just a slight bit to the left to be able to compensate for the wind pushing right. And it was just perfect. Let's go over here and take a look at this massive dime potential black buck. He's got some pretty incredible curls on him. I'll definitely give him that. All right, you know what? Let's take a picture because that's pretty cool. He's got some really good mass on the base as well. And he's gonna be a 114 gold. So he's actually on the lower end of that estimate. He could have been a diamond easily, but he just wasn't quite big enough, I guess. Uh, maybe because he wasn't quite tall enough. He's got a bunch of mass at the bottom. He's pretty good size. But anyways, we pulled off a 42 yard right lung liver stomach shot there. I held a little bit left and it worked perfect. Centered him nicely. Dropped right on the spot. Big old black buck down. 
Well, I think we found the water buffalo. Look at all the water buffalo. There's a giant right there. That's a max weight and a pretty good score. He's obviously guaranteed gold, and he's kind of like the size of a small or medium mythical. So we definitely want to try and get him. But honestly, if we get over there, we'll probably just try and take down whatever's closest to us. Boy, there's got to be 15, maybe 20 water buffalo there. Look at them all. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19 water buffalo over there. Oh my god. And hold up, what do we got over here? Ooh, nice herd of red deer. And then we got a decent muley buck out there as well. It's about like the same size. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh, what's happening? Holy, we got a water buffalo on top of us. We're getting attacked. We're getting attacked. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where'd you go? Where in the heck are you? Oh, there he is! I see him! Oh, oh, he's big. He's real big. He's real, real big. Real, real big. Come on, cut back, cut back. Oh, we got him! Uh, yes, we got him. Whew. That was a close one. I was really hoping we didn't hit him in the skull. Luckily, we missed right behind the skull and got him right in the neck. So pretty awesome shot. That is one massive, massive buffalo. Look at that thing. It should either be a seven or a mythical, I would imagine. Holy, that's a mythical. What an awesome shot. Took him at 10 yards away. Shot, like I said, right behind the skull. You can see his skull was right there. So we barely missed. Looks like we went right through the ear. Got double lung, stomach, and intestine. A 150.10 gold. Massive mythical water buffalo. Sweet. I know it's kind of shady, but doesn't that look melanistic to you? I don't think it is. But there's really no way we'd be able to find out. Except go all the way over there and try and take him down with a bow, which is going to take a ton of time. And rather than do that, I think we'll just take the M1 and take him down. He's a good looking buck, but oh man, it would just be, you know what? On second thought, if we used the M1 and it turned out to be a melanistic, I would kind of be sick to my stomach. I really would because knowing the fact that we could have used a bow and took him down, it would just be so much more cooler. So we're not gonna use the M1. I don't think it is a melanistic at this point because it looks a little bit more brown as we're getting closer to it. In fact, yeah, it's definitely not a melanistic, but still. It's a good buck. It looks like the buck that we took at 90 yards from before. So honestly, we might try for another 90 yard shot. This time, we know pretty much right where to aim. We just got to be able to compensate for the wind a little bit there and we should be setting pretty good. All right, we're looking at about 120 right there. It's going to be kind of tough because he's actually behind the grass. I can see part of him, but the other part I really can't see very well. You know what's interesting though? I can kind of silhouette him pretty good right here. He's right in a little pocket where if you look behind, it's a hollow spot. So you can see this, the uh, sky behind him and you can see all the trees around him. So it's kind of like the light gathers behind him and creates a nice little silhouette. So I could definitely take that shot. I feel really comfortable taking that shot actually. He's 90 yards out right there. All right, here we go. Drilled him. I even held a little bit left, so that should have been an awesome shot. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, we got hunting pressure. That was an awesome 90 yard shot with the hawk edge bow on a pretty good muley buck. And all of our water buffalo are right over there. They never even spooked. Well, of course they're not gonna spook from the bow, but still, what a nice little bonus. Man, I'm pretty pumped to see where we actually hit on that buck. I kind of centered him to be able to compensate for that wind and it seemed like it went just right. I don't have the tracks on right now so it's going to be kind of difficult to tell where he went but if we hit him somewhat decent I was going to say he shouldn't be too hard to find and in fact he only went maybe 40-50 yards. You know I'm going to say we might have gotten liver which is still an awesome shot for 90 yards out but we definitely made a good hit. And he's also a pretty respectable buck as well. Oh, we got lung. 93 yard lung shot, lung and shoulder. 
What a nice shot. Quartering at us slightly. And we drilled the shoulder blade and still caught left lung. A 206.5. Not quite big enough for a gold, but a solid, solid buck. Yeah, I really don't know. Oh, here we go. Oh, I think we found him. I think we found him. Look at them all. Come on, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do when I take a shot? Oh, right in front of him. If he would have kept walking, that would have been a hit. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, bring it on. Bring it on. I guess that could be him. Imagine. Oh, come on. Keep walking. <laughs> Both times. We were absolutely perfect, but I led them just a little bit too much to try and compensate for that walk. And, uh... Yeah, they just stopped. All right. That's money. Got him. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about. What a shot. Straight Texas hard shot. That should actually be Vitos too. It should take him down. Come on, give me one more. Give me one more. Money. Oh, drop low. That's a vital hit. Oh, yeah. That's a vital hit. A Texas hard shot with the recurve bow. At like 50 plus yards. I'll take it. And there he lays right here. Let's go over here and have a look. I mean, yeah, it's a Texas heart shot, but <laughs> that's a super, super lucky shot. 63 yards out. We hit it right in the back hind quarter and somehow caught lung. All right, 100 yards out. That's not the right one. That's a six. That's another six. Was there not a seven there just a second ago? Oh, yeah. There he is. He's right there. 95 yards out, guys. Definitely not using that. I can hardly see him. There we go. I don't know what happened. How'd we miss? Okay, well, we might have missed once. We are not going to miss again. There he is, there he is, there he is. Get out of the brush. Oh, drilled him. Man, I was a little bit high, but depending on how far that was, I mean, if that was 50, it should have been perfect. It was definitely not perfect. We shot high in the shoulder. Okay. I mean, yeah, it would have been awesome if I knew the distance, but we didn't really have time, so we hit just a tad bit too high. Boy, I bet if we reserved him for 20, it probably would have been a long shot. But we should be able to get a follow-up right here, guys. Ooh. I think we got him that time. I think we got him that time. We definitely got him that time. Really good blood. A nice Texas heart shot again, quartering away. At about 50 yards out, and we drilled him. He didn't go another 30 yards and piled up right over here. Let's have a look. I'm kind of curious where we hit that first time. I would say probably high in that front shoulder. But we're about to find out right now. And... Actually, we were low. That was a 60-yard shot, and we were just barely low. I mean, if you look at the angle there, you're talking about like two inches higher. We probably would have smoked that thing right in the heart or maybe even the lung. But then we smoked him at 60 yards. Texas heart shot ended up getting looks like double lung, liver and intestine. A 140.20 gold orange water buffalo. Big old level seven. So I thought we'd head over to Africa and do a little bit of Cape Buffalo hunting. We just spotted a massive herd of buffalo out here. There's a really good level eight mythical bull and a couple of sevens. They're about 300 yards out. We don't have a good wind. So what my goal is, is to try and stay left, come in from the top side over here and kind of loop around and see if we can't get within range to take down this giant bull. All right, we just made it over here. We are about 35 yards out from these buffalo. Now, all we got to do is try and figure out where our massive mythicals at because he could be anywhere in here. There's one laying down right there. I can't tell what that is. There's a six right here. Is there more out there? Ah. Wow, okay, guys. Well, we got buffalo right on top of us here, but I'm pretty sure all the big ones 
are right out in this meadow here. So we're going to try and slide over and get a little bit closer. They're only about like 50 yards out, so they're pretty much in range. I mean, I'll take up to a 50 yard shot with the recurve. And if we can't get within 50, then I'll definitely just use the hawk edge and go for like an 80 yard shot with that. There's a six. What's that one? It looks good. It's definitely a six or, or a female, you know, or a female. <laughs> uh, there's another female there. There's a big seven there. Oh my God, there he is, guys. He's 20 yards away, bedded right in front of us. Holy, massive, massive mythical. Right next to the seven. Wow. This is going to be quite, quite interesting. Let's see if he stands up. Come on. Come on. That should be him. Oh, hopefully that was him. If not, maybe that was... <laughs> I think we got him, guys. Oh, bad shot, bad shot. I see a go. Oh, my God. Oh, that sucker's not going far. I need a med kit. I need a med kit. Bad. Bad, 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 bad. All right, I'm pretty sure we got the big mythical. Let's try and find out. What's that one now? It's a six. We got blood here. We hit one like in the head, I think, on accident. There's a six there. You know what we might do? We might, we might lay here and wait for them to come back. We might do that. Come on, where are you at? Where are you at? I hear you. That's what I thought. You're behind us. Wait a second. Why do you have an arrow in you? Ooh, bad shot. Oh, perfect shot. Oh, we rolled him. I think that might be a six or a small seven. That was a six and it ended up being a gold. 118 gold, not bad. So we tried for a Texas hard shot, it looks like, or a shot as it was running past and gotten tested. But then right there, we got a nice double lung at 17 yards. Well, I am pretty sure this should be our giant mythical. I mean, he was in the exact spot that I thought he was when I first spotted him. So I'm hoping it's him. We got him, guys. Took about 19 yards out, got a double lung shoulder blade and a 138.10 gold massive mythical water buffalo with the recurve bow took a long time to make that happen i'll tell you that but i guess it's worth it because we got 1583 cash for that as well and a giant buffalo down with the recurve anyways on that note that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time